We begin here at six where the CBS Evening News left off the second assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump, according to the FBI. The Secret Service revealing the moments they saw a rifle poking through some bushes outside Trump's golf course near Mar-a-Lago. Our Darius Johnson is here now and 24 hours into this investigation, there are still a lot of questions. Yes, yeah, still a lot of questions, Joe, but there is a lot that we now know about Ryan Wesley Routh as far as where he's from and his views on politics. But what we don't know at this moment is why he was there and how he knew the former president would be there 12 hours before the shots were fired by Secret Service agents. According to the FBI, Ryan Wesley Routh is the suspected gunman in the apparent second assassination attempt of the former president. Ryan Wesley Routh, 58 years old of Hawaii, has been charged by a criminal complaint in the Southern District of Florida with firearms offenses related to an incident which occurred yesterday at Trump International Golf Course right here in West Palm Beach. Officials say at 1.30 p.m. Sunday, he hid in bushes with an AK-47 style rifle on the Trump International Golf Course in West Palm Beach, the former president just hundreds of yards away. As former President Trump was moving through the fifth fairway across the course and out of sight of the sixth green, the agent who was visually sweeping the area of the sixth green saw the subject armed with what he perceived to be a rifle and immediately discharged his firearm. The agent fired off four to six rounds, but no shots were fired by the suspect before he took off in a vehicle and was later arrested in Martin County. Officials say he left behind an AK-47 style rifle with an obliterated serial number, two backpacks, ceramic tile and a GoPro camera, all of which is being processed along with DNA. By way of his background, in 2002, as the United States Attorney uh, mentioned, the subject was charged and convicted in North Carolina for possession of a weapon of mass destruction. Law enforcement checks also revealed that from 1997 to 2010, the subject had numerous felony charges for stolen goods. Preventing him from possessing a weapon. In 2019, a tip was given stating the felon was in possession of a firearm, but the information was not verified. Our FBI agents then attempted to interview him, and he invoked his right to an attorney. In the last 24 hours, the FBI and our partners have been dedicated to investigating the incident and utilizing all available resources. Right now, agents are working to execute search warrants, complete interviews with agents from the scene and those who knew Ralph. While the motive remains unclear, it is important to note he backed President Trump in the past, but voted Democrat in North Carolina primaries earlier this year before registering as an unaffiliated voter. Joe, so definitely a lot more we'll learn as this investigation continues. All right, Darius, thanks very much.